What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit our blog post pages for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your blog posts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership to all my courses, videos, and books. Runtime fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, in the last video, we looked at showing individual blog posts on their own pages. In this video, I want to talk about editing them. So we can click this button. We have all the things already filled out. Uh, we could say first post edited. Edit it here. Click submit. We get a little message that say this post has been updated. It says edited there. We can go back to our blog post page and it says edited there as well. We can also edit from right here if we want. Now, I understand. Eventually, we're going to only want certain people to be able to edit blog post pages. You know, you have to be logged in and it has to be your blog post in order for you to be able to edit it. But for now, we're just going to get the functionality of editing any page. So anybody can edit any blog post they want right now. We're, we'll change that later on. But for now, we're just going to get this functionality set up. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the other Flask Friday playlist videos. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. So, okay, let's head over to our hello.py file and let's come down here, anywhere here where we've been adding posts and things. And let's create a new route. Let's go app.route and maybe give us some space here. Okay, and we wanna point this to slash posts slash edit slash, and then we want to do the same thing we did last time with this int ID. So this is going to allow us to edit an individual page of ID, whatever. So post number four, this will allow us to edit post number four, right? So, okay. Now we also need to pass in some methods here. So methods equals, and this is a list and we want get, and we also want post. And we do this whenever we're dealing with forms. We've done this in other videos before when we dealt with forms. So, okay, there we go. That's our route. Now let's define and let's call this edit underscore post. And we want to pass in that ID. And just like earlier, we want to find the post. So we want to look it up in the query by its ID. And we also need a form. So let's set the form equal to our post form. And we set this up many videos ago, this post form. That's uh, this guy right here. The post form has title, content, author, slug, and a submit button. So we want to use that form in order to edit our stuff because when we click on this thing, we want this form to appear and we want it to have all the stuff that's already on the blog post. So we don't have to retype it in. It's just there for us. So, okay, let's head back over here. So now we need to determine, is somebody just viewing this page or did they click the submit button and they want to actually submit a change? And so to do that, we, we call this if form dot validate underscore on underscore submit, right? So that means, hey, we filled out the form, we clicked the button, now we want to validate the submission. So we can call post dot title and set that equal to form dot title dot data. This is form dot title dot data is what we filled out in the form on that page. And we want to assign that to this variable that we can then commit to the database. So, okay. And then we also want post.author and we want to set that equal to form.author.data. And we're just coming through here and doing this for each thing. So post.slug, we want that to equal form.slug.data. And then finally post.content, we want that equal form.content.data. And Again, we're getting all of these things, title, author, slug, and content, because that's what this form has, title, content, author, slug. Different order, but it doesn't matter, right? So, okay, that will grab all that stuff. Now we wanna commit all those things to the database. So let's say add to database, or let's say update database. And to do that, we just go db.session, dot add and we pass in post, which is all of these things. Post dot this, post dot that, post dot everything, post. Now we wanna commit those changes. So db dot session dot commit. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now that will add it to the database. It will update the database. Now, if we wanna return a little message that said it was successful, we could do that with our flash messages. We looked at these many videos ago. 
So we could say post has been updated. Woo now we want to return back to the page itself, to the individual blog post page. And so let's return. And we've been up until now rendering templates. Now I want to actually redirect. And I want to redirect to a specific page. So we can go URL for just like we were creating a regular link. And we want to point that to post. And we want to have ID equal post.id. Now this will send us back to that specific page. So for instance, if we're at, we're editing blog post one, after we click submit, it will send us back to this page, right? And it'll flash up a little message. But in order to do that, we actually have to import a couple of things. We have to import this redirect and we have to import this URL for. So let's come up here to the top and we want to from flask right up here. We also want to import redirect and URL underscore four. So, okay, that's all there is to that. So come back down here. So that will save whatever we added or edited to the database. Well, what if we're not actually, we haven't actually done that yet. We're just going back to the page. So for instance, we just clicked edit and boom, this page pops up. We need to actually show that page. So to do that, let's outside of this if statement, right? We need to pass in all of this stuff. Because when we come to this page, we want all these forms already be filled out. So to do that, we have to sort of designate that right here. So let's go form.title.data. We want that to equal post.title. And we're getting that from this post thing right here that we looked up. We grabbed all the information from the post. We queried the database. We assigned it to this post variable. And now we can, one at a time, sort of put them on the form. So let's go form.author dot data, and that's going to be post.author, right? We could go form dot slug dot data, and that's going to be post dot slug. Remember, we, had, we did that slug stuff earlier for the URL. We haven't played with that yet. We will eventually. And then finally, form dot content, there we go, dot data, that's going to be post dot data. Okay, so that will pass all that stuff onto the form. Now we just need to return that page. So let's go return. We want to render underscore template like we always have. And let's point this to a file called edit underscore post.html. Now we don't have this yet. We're gonna have to create it, but we will. And we also wanna pass the form. So form equals form. And that form is just this thing here that will have been right here filled out with all of our post stuff. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to create this edit post page. So let's come over to our templates, right click new file, Go file, save as, and call this edit underscore post. So I'm gonna go to our post page from the last video. I'm gonna copy this and let's just put that in there. Now, this has the flash message stuff already in it. And here we're not calling any of this stuff, this post dot stuff, right? Instead, we need to create a form. So let's look through here. When we first created our post, we had this add post page. And it already has all the form stuff. So I'm just going to copy all of this stuff down to the form tag, the closing form tag. And I'm just going to paste that in. And that should do the trick. Now we have to have this form hidden tag that gives us a CSRF token, all that stuff. Here's each of those things, author, title, slug, and content. So, okay, that should be good to go. Yeah, I think so. Now, if we come back here and actually let me come back over here and run this again. So let's go flask run. I'm in my C flasker directory. We've got a virtual environment turned on. Come back here, turn this back on. And let's come back here and click this. We need a way to actually get to that edit page. We need a button here or something. So let's add that. That's gonna be on our posts page, plural. And if we come down here to, let's see, in the last video we created this view post button. I'm just going to copy this whole thing and paste it in again. But instead of pointing it to post, we want to point this to edit underscore post, right? And instead of it saying view post, we want to say edit post. And okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and hit reload here. Boom, we get an edit post page, we click on it. Uh Oh, all right, so let's see, line 71. Oh, we got a little error there. So, all right, head back over to our hello.py file, line 71. This should be post.content. 
There we go. Type O. It's Friday. <laughs> All right, so let's save this. Head back over here. Give this another try. All right, so here we go. Let's start over here. We click, we want to edit this post. You see here, it says this is my first blog post, which is the title. That looks good. John Elder, author, slug, content. So this is my first blog post edited. So now if we click submit, boom, it returns us back to the post page. It says, hey, post has been updated. It sure enough has been edited. Very cool. Now, this is the post page. If we go back to the blog and click view posts, maybe we want one of these buttons here so we can edit it right here. So we can do that. Let's head back over here and go to the post page itself. And down here, let's see where the back button is. Let's just copy this and add another one. So this is going to be edit underscore post. And we want to pass in ID equal post dot ID. And here we want this to say edit post instead. Okay, so we save this, head back over here, hit reload. Uh-oh, all the mistakes today. Comma right there. Okay. Now we come back here, hit reload. We see this edit post link. We can click on it. We can get rid of this edited thing. I edited this part now. <laughs> uh, so submit. Post has been updated. I edited this part now. We can close that. We can go back to the blog. I edited this part now. And that's really all there is to it. So I think that's all there is to editing. Pretty simple. Again, we just sort of pass in in our hello.py file. This is where all the heavy lifting comes in, where this stuff right here is passing that information to the post the first time so we don't have to retype it. Then when we edit it and click the button, this thing gets called and we take all that stuff. Each thing we filled out, form.title.data, the dot data things are the things that we filled out on the form. We're assigning them into this post.title, post.author, post.slug. And then we're adding those post things to the database and then committing the change, saving it. Then we just flash this thing up on the screen, redirect back to the original post page. And that's all there is to it. So pretty easy and kind of fun. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. You pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.